Hey, Mech Warriors, welcome to Bad Ben's Battle Mechs. I'm Bad Ben. Uh, so, I I haven't uploaded in a really long time, uh, and the reason for that is because I've kind of been just covering this Kickstarter news, and there hasn't been any Kickstarter news for a long time, really. Nothing worth mentioning. Uh, but they released, uh, they sent me an email yesterday, and it does have some information on it. Um, just as a disclaimer, it's not good news. It's not great news. I mean, it's not super unexpected or anything, but <clears throat> just so like you're not holding out hope and, you know, I won't drop it at the end it's starting out. It's not, it's not awesome news. Anyways. So this is the email. I, I just copied the text and put it in this because uh, I did. I don't want everybody looking in my email and so on. Uh, so I'm just gonna start by reading off what they have to say. Hey there, backers! Fresh off the weekly meeting with QML, here's some information we can share. Shortages. We know you've been waiting for information on shortages, so here we go about. 20 SKU shortages were found across hubs and QML. Uh, QML, if you don't know, that's the logistic quartermaster logistics and their handling distribution. After assessing what CGL, Catalyst Game Labs, and QML and the hubs could all ship amongst each other, we also had to work with our various manufacturing partners to produce more merchandise to backfill shortages. Those items should be finished production within two to three weeks, then shipped directly to both QML and the worldwide hubs. So just not everything is even produced yet. And if it's going to be finished production within two to three weeks, it's going to take at least another two to three, probably more like four to five weeks to then ship to every hub. Um, then ship directly to both. Yeah, okay. Several of the short items are in the majority of international orders, which is the reason shipping isn't able to begin until everything gets to the hubs. We also want to be sure that shipping from a hub can begin at the same time for all that region's backers in order to reduce customer confusion and stress. Note that each hub will fulfill when its own stock arrives, not when stock arrives at all hubs, so some regions may, be begin, may begin before others. Uh, one of the items that is causing a holdup for North America shipments is the Plain House Orano Challenge Coin. Please note this is different than the Enamel House Orano Challenge Coin. If, you pl if your pledge contains this coin, you can choose to message QML to see if that is the only item holding your order. If so, you can choose to have it removed from your order permanently, and you will receive a CGL store credit of $10. Contact QML through their customer service link below. If this applies to you, this is the only item available for cancellation at this time. That doesn't pertain to me, but it could pertain to some of you. But uh, they do say hold up for North America. Uh, so um, that really just applies to North America. So you can contact them there. Waves. Wave one shipping was paid. Okay. Yes, this is the waves. Uh, shipping was paid on or before. So you will be in wave one if shipping was paid on or before May 17th, 2024. Um, the wave one has stalled while waiting restock. Shipping was paid, so you're in wave two, if your shipping was paid after May 17th, 2024, but before August 12th, 2024. And it has not begun, but will begin soon once restock arrives. So are they talking, I'm not sure whether they're talking about 
what they're talking about exactly. I think this is for North America. And uh, believe it or not, people, uh, so I, I posted <clears throat> on Reddit yesterday just asking, so like, hey, what's going on? Has anybody outside of North America gotten anything? <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little stuffy. It's It's back to school season, you know. And so I posted, has anybody gotten any news? Anybody know anything? And <clears throat> many people from North America have said they haven't gotten even an email from uh, Catalyst or QML about getting. So, yeah, don't think that North America is even finished yet. A lot of people apparently still do not have um, their stuff there. And if we think about that, so North America started shipping in June. The first people got theirs in June. We have July, August. We're now nearing the end of September. So it's been three months from the time they started to ship in North America until, well, now, and still not everybody has it. And so if this is kind of foreshadowing for us outside of North America, um, like uh, they'll start shipping in, oof, I think, I guess the earliest this could be would be sometime in November. And if it's going to take at least three months, you know, we're looking at December, January, February before <laughs> orders outside of North America look like they're going to be um, <clears throat> started, uh, you know, all shipped. It's, it's, it, it, I don't know. It seems it's going to take it's going to take a while, guys. Uh, wave three. So shipping is not. If you haven't paid for your shipping, you'll be in wave three, and will be communicated at a later date. So, who? If you're in wave three, I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what wave I'm in, uh, but I, I, I don't know how this applies to people outside of North America either. Uh, you know, I did pay. I don't remember when I paid, but I have paid. So will that mean I'm in wave one or wave two when outside of North America starts shipping? I don't know the answer to that. Um, retail backers, retail backers who have paid shipping prior to August 12th will be fulfilled at the end of wave two and will not be held for wave three. So if you're a retailer and you ordered a whole bunch of stuff, you can expect at the end of wave two, which is if, yeah, who knows when that's going to be. We will be sending address verifications on Thursday. On Thursday, okay, for wave two backers that are not short any items in their order. Okay, so for a few of the wave two backers that are not, some of the wave two backers that are not short any items, you will probably get uh, address verification Thursday. Fulfillment is expected to start for wave two sometimes next week. So this is definitely talking about only North America, right? This is wave two in North America. Uh, this should not cause any additional inventory issues for those wave one backers that are waiting for stock to arrive at QML. Damages or lost shipments, contact QML at the following link if you have damaged items, or if you believe a package shipment has gone missing, this applies to all backers regardless of country. So, uh, also, if you are a backer who backed via backer kit rather than Kickstarter and requires support regarding your pledge, you can reach out to us using the following steps, and you can read those steps. I'm not going to, yeah. If the pre-filled answer does not, blah, 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 you can just read this. This isn't all that interesting to me. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, wait. We are still committed to waiting to release any, okay, yeah, here. We are still committed to waiting to release any kickbacker, uh, Kickstarter backer exclusive rewards until after the Kickstarter. And I'm just thinking, they're, they're kind of shooting themselves in the foot, right? 
they want to they want to release this stuff. They want to sell it. They want to get it out onto the sh- store shelves, but they are unable to until all the Kickstarters have been essentially fulfilled. <clears throat> and since it's going to take a long time, uh, it seems like, yeah, kind of shooting themselves in the foot, as I said. La, la, la. What is it? Okay. Uh, until after the Kickstarter has filled and globally and all comp- and all company store level retail backers have had 30 days to sell before we release items through our own retail avenues. So, yeah, this stuff's not going to hit store shelves for a while, like for, I would say, like a half a year. It's going to be another six months. That's my guess. There are a few items where we committed to pushing production sooner, and those will be released over the next months. Here's a summary of where we are for now on release through the rest of the year. So this stuff is coming soon because it's not bound to Kickstarter for uh, fulfillment. The Force Manual Davian in September, Universe Standard Edition, September, Merck's Paint Set, in September, Hotspots, Hinterlands, November, Ilkhan Zion's only December release, and drop ships sometime in 2025. Kickstarter release first. Some of these were slated for an October release. This, okay, this is <laughs> this is this is hilarious for me. This is what I think is funny. Some of these were slated for an October release, but have since been moved to November, and release dates may be further adjusted pending Kickstarter fulfillment. If I do the math right now, okay, already they have to move it from November because they said some items are going to take two to three weeks to be produced. Okay, that's nearly a month. Then what, another month to... uh, ship it to every hub (coughs) then three months at least to get everybody's stuff out globally i mean we're talking about there's no possible way that this could come out in november if what if unless like they hire the flash (laughs) to start delivering stuff you know um and so this is what's planned for November 11th. Forget it. Forget it. You think everybody in the world's going to have their mercenary box set by November? There isn't even a chance. There's no chance of any of that. I don't really understand why they even said that this stuff is like pushed back to November. Push it back to f- freaking June next year. Uh, then this stuff for December, right? The battlefield. I'm not going to read all that stuff. Um, they have, so these are approximate total order counts from wave one and wave two, Australia, New Zealand, a thousand orders, EU, 3000 orders, UK, 1700 orders, Asia, 400, US, Canada, and the rest of the world, 20,000 orders completed for you rest of world so they have completed 14,000 of 20,000 <coughs> orders pretty much just in the US and Canada and some people in uh the Caribbean I have also heard have already gotten theirs wave 3 orders expected approximately 400 orders worldwide so actually okay so a little bit of a caveat, I guess. It has taken them three months since they started shipping in the United States and Canada and rest of world. Uh, and it's taken three months. But they, we do have to understand that that is uh, by far the largest group. Uh, we have, you know, New Zealand, Australia, a thousand that all of this doesn't even add up to 
half of that, right? La, 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 la. And then they write a personal note. And we'd like to thank our backers for your support and patience. This is the largest Kickstarter that either Catalyst or QML have ever undertaken. You helped us to get there. Those who haven't received your item yet, you know you're excited to have them delivered, and we are excited to have get them to you. Before we launch a Kickstarter, we are required to put in an expected fulfillment date to the Kickstarter page. We went with June 2024, but we're hopeful for earlier. We also expected a maximum of $4 million for this Kickstarter, including the pledge manager. We almost tripled that. Yay, I guess. Um, still, we pulled through with our manufacturing partners to start delivery in June. It's sort of. You delivered to a few people in June. There are also over 25,000 orders worldwide and over 400 individual items involved. And this is, I mean... They, yeah, when I saw the Kickstarter last March and they said June, I, I, I guess I didn't really have any idea, but you know, like this kicks, this, this, this part four over 400 individual items involved and every single person gets to pick and choose what goes into their Kickstarter. And so what this, I mean, if you actually think about it, like a normal Kickstarter from most companies, you back at one level and you get something and you don't get to choose anything about that. You know, in another level, you get uh, a set bunch of stuff or whatever, and you don't get to choose. And this, what our Kickstarter was, was like a storefront. We, my, I would be surprised if there are, like even two orders that are absolutely identical in the world, which means absolutely every single box had to be hand packed with an individual list of items going into each box. Right. Uh, and I just can't like, <laughs> I'm trying to think, was it a good idea for them to have done that? Did they, should they have kind of known that they were biting off a little more than they could chew? I mean, they expected that it was going to, that they weren't going to make nearly as much money and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. You kind of got to expect the unexpected at this point. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel like they could have, what do I know? What do I know? I don't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't start speculating on what they could. Have, but I would be surprised. Like, I'd be surprised if they start another Kickstarter. I think they've already said that they're not doing any huge Kickstarters like this anymore. They're going to do like little mini ones. But um, for you know, for aerospace or whatever. And if if anybody from Catalyst is is listening to this. You know, you have this idea, oh, maybe we'll do a little mini Kickstarter for this or that in the future. It may not turn out to be a little mini Kickstarter. That's not really for you to decide. Like, you can say, oh, probably not so many people are going to go in on the aerospace Kickstarter or whatever it's going to be. <clears throat> it, they might. You didn't expect this. And I'd say... I honestly, if I were Catalyst, I'd say do away with the Kickstarters. Um, it's always going to be more than you expect. It's always going to get absurdly delayed. And it's getting delayed to the point now that I think people are getting a little jaded about it. Like they're kind of starting to lose interest. You can go on YouTube and watch people unboxing their stuff, and you're like, okay, I guess mine's coming in February, baby. Uh, and I think it's actually 
I know that when it came out, it, it created a lot of enthusiasm for Battletech. And a lot of people were excited about it. But when it takes so long to fulfill and, you know, and now you're telling us that we're still waiting on production, you know, and then and then we got to hope that once production is fulfilled, that they ship to the correct hubs, which hasn't been done so far. Um, I know this is super complicated and I don't know. I, I kind of think should maybe they shouldn't have done it so absurdly complicated where you can like pick and choose every single thing. I really don't know. Maybe in the future they won't make it so that you can pick and choose every single thing. It becomes basically a store where you can order and then wait for two years until your order arrives. You know, on the other hand, I actually, I, I did, I got to say, it it is very nice that I was able to choose exactly what kind of things I get, you know, exactly the force packs of the challenge coin, the dice. I mean, it comes down to the box set itself. Do you want it in this packaging or that packaging? And that just overcomplicates things so, 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 so much. Imagine if every company backer just got the exact same thing and they could have just had people like box this, bam, 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 bam. It would have gone a million times faster. Uh, yeah, then again, it's nice to be able to pick and choose, right? So I guess it's uh, on the one hand, on the other hand, do you want to be able to pick and choose and have your order delayed by six months or so? Um, or would you rather just have like, I don't know, company level gets this, brigade gets this, and not so much choice. I think that that's maybe something that you should look at to if they want to get their orders out faster. Because at this point, I think people are losing enthusiasm, starting to get a little jaded about Battletech. And I think in the long run, it's, yeah, you have people like me putting out videos on YouTube, right? Saying, hey, come on, Catalyst, what's going on here? And that's not a good look for your company. Um, this is a logistical mountain. Exactly. It's a logistical mountain. And anyone who is experienced with fulfillment knows there are always unexpected roadblocks along the way. And yeah, I feel like they could have, they said at the beginning, you know, there's always unexpected roadblocks along the way. They should know that they've done Kickstarters before. And that they should have said, like, okay, we'll plan for June, but, like, seriously, it's going to be a lot longer than that. If they'd said that at the beginning, probably a lot less people would have signed up. Anyways, the CGL team and our partners have been racing to mitigate these as much as possible while still ensuring orders will be accurate when they get out the door. Again, we are so grateful for the kind words of support from so many of you as we keep pushing through our last hurdles. Once those shortages arrive, everything will be full steam ahead on delivering your rewards. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Really? You can? Because from what you wrote in this, it looks like the tunnel goes on for a, a bit. Keep posting your paid jobs, unboxing, excitement for playing with your new mechs. Note that they didn't say keep posting, complaining about the Kickstarter being delivered way later uh, than expected. Anyway, it is what it is, uh, right? It's a Kickstarter, and you should know that going into a Kickstarter, you're not even guaranteed to get the things that you paid for in the first place, right? And I, when it comes to, like, when it's so, so delayed like it <clears throat> is now, it's not a good look. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think that they should cancel any future Kickstarters. That's what I would do if I was Catalyst Game Labs. 
I would say no more Kickstarters. Uh, we're just going to release stuff and sell it on store shelves like a normal company does, you know? I also feel like, you know, doing these Kickstarters, it it looks like they don't have, like they're not actually a real company. Kickstarters are kind of for startups, and it kind of makes Catalyst Game Labs look like they're just a startup. doesn't imbue a lot of confidence um and so on and so forth so yeah i'm complaining a little bit but in the end there are a bunch of toys that i really don't need (laughs) and whatever i'm not gonna it's it's definitely not going to ruin my day it's not like i hate battletech now and i'll never play it again and i'm gonna boycott catalyst game lab because this whatever man you know it is what it is we all need some zen we need this is a good time to meditate and you know center yourself so you don't ah, go crazy waiting for this thing uh yeah so yeah that's really all there is to say that's kind of my opinion on the whole thing that's their letter um yeah I guess that's that's it for this update. Um, who knows when I'm going to post anything again, if there's going to be any updates. Um, but, you know, if there are, if anything significant happens, I will let you know. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Have a good one. And uh, stay healthy. Ugh, I'm not. All right, bye.